I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. I've been MIA for a little while as most of you know um, so I'm gonna try to get through this and hopefully I can make it through. Um, today I'm going to be talking about apologies, truths, and reality checks and life of the drama world that uh, there's been a lot pretty gross, disgusting. So I'm going to do a get ready with me while I do that. Um, before I start, my swoop shout out for today goes to Jennifer Joyce. I found out about Jennifer Joyce through Beauty Index, who I've showed it out before. She put up a video about this drama that's going on right now in the drama community and uh, to say it was moving would be an understatement. I actually cried during her video. Um, I love her. She is a makeup artist. She's, I believe, a hairstylist. She's, she is just so, I don't know how to, you know how you can watch somebody and you just know that it's their, their truth that they're very sincere and it's like their heart is on their sleeve. That is Jennifer Joyce. Um, I will link her video down below. I highly, highly, highly recommend you going and watching that video and while you're there subscribing to her channel. She is fantastic. So with that said, um, as most of you know, I've, I was down in the States, so I've been trying out some new products first product I tried was The Present. It is by Philosophy and it is a primer. And the reason I picked this up was it was recommended by Wayne Goss. So I'm giving that a whirl. I'm not, I, this is only the second time I've used it. Um, I'm not sure it's working for pores as much as I hoped, but I can't form an opinion yet until I've given it a real, real test. Um, the foundation I used today, and this was, I bought it because of my girl, Beauty Boomer, Rose. It is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation. Um, I have fallen back in love with MAC, as you know, so I thought I would give their foundation a try, and I am in shade NW20. Now, I know it's a little light right now, but summer is getting towards its end and my deep dark tan that I have is going to be gone in no time so I didn't want to get something that particularly matched me perfectly right now and then not be able to use it so there's that I picked up the revolution makeup revolution conceal and De define full coverage conceal and contour now I am late to the game on this one um everybody was talking about this saying that it is a very close dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. So I am gonna give that a go and see what it does for creasing, concealing, that type of thing. I did my base about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago and I can already see it's not uh, concealing necessarily like I would hope, but we will give it an honest test. My most exciting product, and you guys are probably gonna laugh because it's probably everywhere for you, but it took me three or four different stops down in Great Falls to find this. Dun, 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 dun. I found it. Cody Airspun. I have been using this only for a few days. So far I love it. Um, I want to keep using it though because I hope, I don't want to say, oh my god, it's the best thing ever when really it's just the excitement of a new product. So I am going to give this a whirl, a fair wear test, and see how this goes. I know Tati swears by it so I want to give it a fair go. I did my brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Blonde. Um, I don't know what my opinion is on this yet. Again, I've only used it twice. Color wise, it's good. My absolute favorite product still is the um, Gerard Cosmetics brow bar to go. It's going to be hard to beat that in my opinion, but for a very quick get them on and go, it's 
it's been okay so far. So first I am going to prime my eyes with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I picked up a few um, Wet n Wild uh, palettes when I was down in the States and this was a little free gift with purchase. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a whirl. But let's get into this drama while I'm doing this. Um, I know everybody and their dog is talking about Manny and Laura and Gabrielle and Jeffree Star, Nikita Dragon. I'm slow to the game because I've been MIA. Um, and actually, truth be told, this is the second time I'm filming this video. The first time I was doing a I don't know what I heard with all the apologies and how the apologies should have gone in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I was loopy when I did them. I missed a lot of points I wanted to make. Maybe I'll put a few clips in. <laughs> it's so hard. It's affecting my views. I just, I let you take, oh, here is, here is, can we zoom in? <laughs> I am so sorry to Jeffree Star. I, even though I didn't caption it, I, I was in the picture and I'm sorry. <laughs> Please come back and subscribe. Um, I don't know. It's all just such None of it had to happen. If people could just be honest, own their stuff, like I've said a million times before, none of it had to happen. I didn't even have my notebooks. My notes are on an envelope right now. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm still loopy. We'll get there. Um, on my eyes, I am gonna use the, shh, I can't pronounce it right now. I picked up this palette um, at Ulta when I was in Great Falls. Oh my God, I have used this every day since I picked it up. It is so good. I have not had a high opinion of BH Cosmetics. Love it. And silly me, when I bought it, I thought it was just the one side. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait, this seems really thick. There's a second side. I love it. Um, so anyway, let's, I'm not even going to start where I would normally, like everybody kind of is doing individual videos. I hope to get all the drama in one video because I have bigger and better things to think about, worry about, film about. So let's talk about Laura Lee's apology. Um, first off, I don't think it was a real apology. Um, if that wasn't fake crying, I don't know what is. Um, and the fact that she kept saying retweet, oh, all these retweets. I know it might not seem a big deal to some, the vernacular, but um, there's a huge difference between a retweet and something that you actually spent the time typing out and putting out into the world. Um, the fact that there were 18 million jump cuts in her video makes it insincere to me. Like an apology should just be sitting down, looking at your camera, owning your truth, saying I'm sorry, don't mention the word but, and one is done kind of thing. Um, I just, and even, I think it, even with the fake apology, had she not then gone and deleted her whole Twitter, I think the deleting her Twitter was the biggest downfall for her, in all honesty. Um, like, no one can confirm now which tweets are true, which are false. And it just, it showed guilt. It showed that, in my opinion, um, there's probably so much more that she had said that she wanted to be rid of and hide. And that's not a good look. Um, yeah, I don't think she should have done that. Um, I think they all need a new PR team, to be honest. 
Uh, that all being said, there's the other side that people are like, oh my God, she said it six years ago. Get over it. It's not that big of a deal. I think racism is always a big deal. I don't care how long ago it was. If there are certain things that you can say that easily and that flippantly, it probably goes to show character a little bit. Um, my opinion again. But, and I'm saying but, I can't help but kind of feel bad for her right now. Um, she has lost all of her brand deals, all of her sponsors. BoxyCharm spoke out against her. Morphe's pulling her from stores. The sunglasses, no longer sell her sunglasses. Ulta isn't going to be selling her. Um, I, I can't find joy in somebody losing everything. I know what she did was horrible. I am not condoning at all what she did. I just, I don't know, maybe it's just, I don't know. I, I hate to see somebody lose everything. I find it incredibly sad. Um, like I said, what she did was wrong. She deserved backlash. I just, I can't help but feel bad for her. For some reason, I actually picture her in her house with her husband crying real tears about what's going on. Like she is hemorrhaging subscribers, all this. I feel bad for her. Um, anyway, enough about Laura. Manny, Lord, what can you say about Manny MUA? I prefer to call him Manny MIA right now because that boy has been absent for sticking up for anybody. Laura went for, to bat for him he hasn't said boo about her. He hasn't stuck up for her. He has thrown people under the bus, left, right, and center. From here on out, he is many MIA to me. Just my thoughts. Um, his ap apology videos. Come on now. Those were not apologies. Um, I only watched them once. Um, I don't know how you can make an apology video and not say the words, I'm sorry. Kind of weird to me. Um, and the fact that there were two of them, like it could have all been summed up in one video had he done the first one correctly. And that first one, oh my God. This is so hard for me knowing that somebody was hurt at a meet and greet that I did with Jeffrey. Should I have said his name? But what I did was wrong, kind of, because it wasn't really my fault, because I went to hug her and she walked right by me so that's why I made the face. So really, I guess my apology is to say I don't apologize because it's all her fault. I'm not going to apologize for anything obvious like a photo that was tweeted out or how I may have wronged Jeffrey or, or throwing Laura under the bus because I'm really not supporting her right now. I don't want to be associated. Um, I will say that I'll apologize for not being sorry that that girl got hurt. How I heard that video was he was shifting blame onto Dan and not taking accountability. He said, oh, he was taken off guard because she walked right by him to hug Jeffree Star first. And, you know, that's okay. But I was taken aback. I felt this. I, you know, you're making an apology. It's not about you. It's that easy. I totally felt like he was trying to lay blame on that poor girl. The fact that Jeffree Star is sending her his whole collection to make things right, he is rectifying Manny's mistake, I think says volumes about Jeffree Star right now. Um, he never apologizes. He doesn't own his stuff. He flip-flops, tries to place blame on, on anybody but him. The second video, he goes out of his way to apologize to Gabrielle. He tries to apologize to Patrick 
Dark Star, never mentions Laura, does not apologize to Jeffrey. Like, what was the point of the video, dude? Seriously. Um, I was just disgusted. Um, I don't think that there is any denying that Manny is a social climber. I know Dustin Daly. I'm sorry, that's your <laughs> your handle. Um, but I think if there was a definition for social climber, it would have to be Manny. All these people are coming out of the woodwork now about their past experiences with him. Um, it's all ridiculous. Um, I'm done with him. I honestly am. I just... I can't co-sign that bad behavior and that bad person. Um, there is now a video out, of course, about um, a guy who, I'm not going to say his name, his video is disgusting, who hooked up with Manny. Um, I don't even know what to say about that video. Um, there are some things that need to be kept private. Um, even if you want to bring the situation to light, um, go for it. But maybe there are some details that uh, don't need to be brought up. Um, I honestly, my feel of this guy is he's looking for some fame. He's looking for some clout of some sort. And if he thinks he's going to get any sort of good clout by saying that Manny's ass smells like sriracha, don't think so, dude. Um, he also was on, I can't remember what show, Irvin, Irving something. I honestly think this guy's like an actor just trying to get some fame. It's disgusting. It's gross. Whatever. But on that note, let's talk about our, our little boy, Mango Tea. What can I say that has not been said already? To start off, he put out a video with this person who um, supposedly hooked up with Manny. He puts up this video and gives this guy his five minutes fame, 30 minutes. Well, mangoes were all probably more than that because he wanted to make some ad sense. Um, Mango, Mango. So Mango finds it okay to put up this kind of disgusting stuff, right? He leaves it up, well, according to him, he starts out saying he left it up for 10 minutes, then it's down to five minutes. If he's talking about it today on his live streams, it was probably only up for two minutes. We all know how Mango is. Um, trying to do a little color. Ives and Beauty, who I love, is going to be doing a tutorial and I'm going to have to try to follow it. So I'm trying to get there. Um, anyway, it, I didn't see the video, thank goodness from the sounds of it. I did happen to catch Mango's live stream though. Talk about theatrics. Lord have mercy. This man, I tell you what, he puts up the video. Then he tries to play like, oh my God, I didn't know this was going to happen. All this backlash on and on and on and on. He knew full well what he was doing with that video. Can I just say that? For him to then go on this live stream and be like, oh my God, you know, sometimes I make bad decisions and I just, I didn't know. I didn't do my background check the same shit he was accusing like beauty truth sleuth of he accused her of not doing due diligence my man you do no due diligence he's gonna put up a guy who says he hooked up with manny after not fact checking any of that he puts up a renter that supposedly got done wrong by ginger art of gerard cosmetics doesn't do a background check on her about other legal issues that are going on in her background right now. He promised a follow-up video to that, providing these receipts 
that we still have not seen. So, yeah, he can't help himself. He's one that he might be getting attention with this kind of stuff, but it's not good attention. And then he always claims that, oh my God, everybody is coming for me. Why is it okay for other people to talk about this stuff and not me? First off, because people can do it in a respectful way. Dustin Daly, who I absolutely adore. I know he probably has, he doesn't even know who I am. I'm not on his radar. I love him so much. He did a video about the, the whole, this person, Sriracha, um, issue. He did it in a respectful way and that was cool. Mango goes in, pretends he's kiki in with a friend, whatever, puts it up, thinking it's all so juicy, salacious, I think is the word he used. And then he starts getting backlash and he backlash and he's shocked. Really, dude? Really? He's like, sometimes I have a hard time, you know, discerning what's tea. Here for the tea, Sam, a fellow Canadian, by the way, she was in the live stream and even she was saying, dude, you need to like maybe bounce ideas off somebody. You need to figure out what's really tea and what's not. And he just had excuses. I just can't with him. And then one of my favorite parts is when he's like, oh, these other drama channels like Beauty by Ashley and all these. I don't, they're not even, I don't even, ch I don't even watch them. Like he pulls up his phone and he's like, oh, see, there's no red lines. I didn't watch them. Bitch, please. I could go and, well, my iPad sits right in front of me here so I can see what, I, see what I'm looking like. I could pull that up and go through and it would show not watched because I don't have an account on there. My phone is different. Like that is not proof. Get a grip not proof he he stops in the middle of his live stream to pull up his phone and be like oh i gotta see if somebody's tweeting about me let me just go in here but then he's gonna say he doesn't care about these people they're not on his radar come on he blocked me i tried to go into his live stream on you now not this last one i think it was one before or something and more just to listen like i don't necessarily throw sh I try hard not to I shouldn't say I don't because maybe I have um I try not to throw shade on a live stream I'm more there just to listen to burn time whatever and I got on there and right away he's like oh just sec I've got to block these people and he blocks me so all I had to do was go to YouTube to watch the live stream like you're not being super smart and sneaky just saying um, I'm tiny. I'm a tiny channel. I hope to grow. I'm trying to grow. I wish life would quit getting in my way. Boys go back to school soon though. I will have full days to be able to create and film and all that kind of stuff. Um, why, is, why did he block me on Twitter? Why does he kick me out of live streams if he doesn't pay attention to all these other people? I don't know if I've ever, I'd have to check. I'm not sure if I've ever like actually added him on Twitter. Yes, I've made videos about him, but why am I on your radar then? If you don't care about all these people and whatnot, why am I getting blocked and whatnot? Like it's just, then like he goes on like this person who he interviewed and did this video with, you know, anything for views. He, um, this person is trying to text him or call him. I honestly think Mango wasn't answering because he was scared. I do think he was scared. Um, I do think that Mango is probably a bit of a, I don't know, bitch in that regard. Um, and then he's able now to have this narrative. Oh my gosh, I can't see what I'm doing here. Um, he's now able to play the victim, right? Because now this man, this crazy man, is trying to call me and text me and, oh my God, what if he comes to try to get me? So he's totally playing the victim now. He's able to turn this horrible thing into, oh my God, 
help me. I'm the victim. Just like, oh my God, somebody pushed me and broke my camera. And Lord, one pattern with him, he never has receipts, which is just as bad as this guy claiming he had a hookup with Manny. No receipts, just on there. Oh, by the way, this, what is this? Wander Beauty Unleashed Mascara. I have absolutely been loving this. Um, so he never has receipts, ever. He'll promise follow-ups with receipts, but never does. Like, I don't know if those receipts are hanging out in Rich Lux's purse or what, but I did steal that line from Jen Gerard. I saw her in one of Nick's live streams say that, and it was freaking hilarious. So giving credit where credit is due. Um, so yeah, I just, his drama isn't even drama. It, uh, he tries, I'll give him that. He tries, but he really needs a, uh, I don't know, reality check or something. Like Sam had said, he needs to figure out what drama really is. Okay. I am seeing a lot of creasing under my eyes and stuff. So I'm not sure that that uh, concealer is going to be all it was made out to be. But, you know, it is what it is. He, I believe, I believe this depths of my soul. He totally knew what he was doing, putting out that horrible video. Um, he... He makes accusations about people. And what I find hilarious is he'll accuse people of things that are just so blatantly not true, but also blame people of doing things that he does. Like, I'm sorry, you're going to sit and you're going to say that Beauty by Ashley buys views and buys subs, but yet it was proven and shown when Twitter did its purge that you had bought a shit ton, excuse my French again, shit ton of subscribers and views, followers, whatever. Like, dude, come on. Like, I just cannot believe this man at all. Um, the other thing that really ticked me off is once this person that he had talked to that had supposedly hooked up with Manny started to text him and call him and whatnot, uh, right away he was like, oh my God, I think this guy's on drugs. That's another one of his go-tos, right? Like a while back he was saying that Nick Snyder was on drugs and now this guy is supposedly on drugs and like dude if you're like stop making false accusations it's his go-to it's disgusting I can't handle it um I'm gonna be going in with the physician formula bronze booster for highlighter FYI these highlighters are awesome not as good as my Pop Lux ones, but they're very nice. Um, yeah, he, uh, I don't know, he's the king of uh, accusing people of stuff that he's doing himself. I know Avid Diva, Metamorphosis Rocks, she had come out quite a while ago with a video called, um, what was it? Um, is Mango Tea Cookie in 2.0 or something like that. If I can find it, I will link it below. Um, I didn't know at first because saying anybody is the same as John Cookian is pretty bad. John Cookian is kind of the worst. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's evil. Um, so yeah, I think accusing somebody of being the next John Cookian. Oops, I really should have knocked off some of that excess. 
whew, it's seen from, from the sky, from the heavens. But, here's my butt. <laughs> I can honestly say now, I do think he is becoming Cookie and 2.0. He is doing the same things and you know, he's making false allegations like, oh my God, so-and-so's on drugs and oh my gosh, this person got screwed by over by this person or screwed by, however you want to look at it. Um, just false narrative all around. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't with him. Um, yeah, but okay, enough enough i could go on for hours dissecting all the crap that that man does it is just you know what it's not even worth my time anymore um yeah so the last little thing i wanted to touch base on was patrick star now as you know I have bought the Patrick Star collections. I love them. And Patrick stays out of um, drama. Pretty good. Like, there's not ever a whole lot of drama. Like, yeah, okay, so he made a, a face once. It was the end of the day. He was tired. Whatever. But he generally doesn't pull the shady. But, you know, Manny does his apology and he tweets out, now you know 100 which is the phrase that um, Gabrielle had used. Uh, then, too booked to be bothered as a hashtag on his video, which I loved. Again, I didn't notice that. It was Dustin Daly and Ashley Kyle that brought that to my attention. And Lord, that was awesome. Awesome sauce. Loved it. Um, it's really hard to contour and brown, bronze like you usually do when your foundation's a shade lighter than what you're used to, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm hanging out on the couch today, which Gerard Cosmetics, what should I use today? But I love the fact that Gerard, um, Gerard, um, everything nice. Let's try that. I love that Patrick Starr did that. I will... Like his new collection, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, it didn't scream at me. Not like his purples and the right colors of his other ones did. Um, I'll be buying it just because it's Patrick Starr and the fact that he actually spoke out. I love that. Love, love, love that. Oh, this one doesn't quite smell like cake, but it doesn't smell bad. Um, I've been loving a nude lip lately. Not sure that lip goes with this look. I should have should have chose something purplier. Oh well. Um, then I always, always, always. Where is it? Where is it? Come on now. Where's my lip plumper? Uh, oh, right here. Um, I always use the lip plumper. It's a nice gloss on top of a matte. Um, it doesn't last all day as a gloss, but it does pump, plump, and I love it. Um, yeah. So, there's that. Um, and it's different. Some of these are minty, minty, and they burn a lot. This one's more cinnamon, and you get the tingle, so you know it's working, but it's not like that painful being stung by bees burn. Love it. So anyway, that was my video. Oh, I have one more product. I picked up the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just because it was an aerosol. It's 
again, can't make a comment because I haven't put it for a full wear test. My favorite, as you all know, is Jared Cosmetics Slay All Day. But I'm going to give this a wear test just because I like the spray. Um, so yeah, that was my kind of coming back. I have a bunch of videos planned because I have a bunch of packages that came in while I've been gone. So I do have my BoxyCharm. So let me know down in the comments. Do you want me to do another ASMR BoxyCharm unboxing? I have a Sephora uh, box that came in with more hair stuff. I have a ColourPop order that came in, a new subscription, my Kiss Me, I have a lot. So let me know, do you want shorter individual videos? That way if you know, you're know you not interested in Kiss Me, you don't have to watch it, but you can watch ColourPop, whatever. Do you want them a great big huge long one? Because I'm sure this video is going to be way too long. I'm kind of, kind of digging this look. Um, yeah. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about all of this drama? Hashtag. If you've watched this far, why don't you hashtag. Hashtag glowing beauty. Let's just try that. Um, yeah. So until next time, I love you all so much. I am so sorry that I've been gone for a while. I'm going to rectify that, especially once my boys are back in school. Words can't explain how much I missed you. I can't say how much I miss sitting in front of my camera. Um, yeah, so until next time, I love you all so much. 